And here we are right in the heart of Bryanston in a stunning home that's going for 8,290,000 rand. A four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home with a double garage. My name is Chad Viveros and this is a show where we show you some of the most exclusive, expensive, quirky, interesting and in demand homes all across South Africa. Follow me as we tour this one and decide whether it's going to be your next home. And as we come through this beautiful pine door with glass inlay, we find ourselves in the entry hall. Now this entry hall is multi-purpose. Not only is there very good lighting, plenty of down lighting, we've got this cool chandelier, as well as some wall sconces, which we don't see all too often, but also what you'll notice that makes this room just so utilitarian is the plug points that are located anywhere you might need them, which means you can let your imagination take hold and do with this room as you want. Right now, as you can see, very, very open. The owners are in the process of moving out. So think about some couches, maybe a nice wall unit over there displaying photos, trophies, ornaments. There's so much you can do, very much so because it leads all the way out onto your stunning veranda and these stackable glass doors opening out on each side, leading you out onto that, which we love. But there are a couple more things we need to talk about in this entry hall, and that is the guest bathroom located just to the right of the front door. Now that we've covered the guest bathroom, I think it's a perfect time to mention this is a four bedroom home with three and a half bathrooms and right here, one of the killer features, I love how this is designed. Not only with so much natural light flooding through these windows and they are absolutely massive windows, but this is a super spacious lounge area with a killer feature I think for any home and that is your very own built in wrought iron fireplace, got beautiful surrounds here and just a spot for you to mount your favorite TV. The furniture in this room giving you a good indication to just how large it is, very well lit with the down lighting as well as the central speaker system. Every room in the house does have speakers in the ceiling. So you know if you are having a party or if you're entertaining guests, no matter where you are in the room, the melody does continue. But there are two killer features in this home and this is the other one. Frosted glass doors on hinges, opening right up onto your very own alcoholic paradise wine racks, plenty of cupboard space, and tabletop counters for you to stack all of your favorite liquors. Or if you don't drink, this right here is going to be your snack haven with snacks galore, specifically on those beautiful winter nights watching movies with the family. But that covers your living room area. So right now, let's scoot out these doors and, and right here, I think I'm in the perfect spot if I get my cameraman to stand there, to show you just how large these door openings are throughout the whole home. You've got extra large doors, extra large door openings, really making this room feel so, so spacious. And now it's time to go and take a look at the outside. Every single room in this home that faces a garden has a door to let you go out and explore. And walking straight out, you are greeted by this incredible pool. That is a room flow pool, flows all the way in this direction, off the edge and into a catchment basin below. Stunning flower beds, really letting you get your green thumb on. And then you've got garden space over here, as well as down those stairs, wrapping all the way to the front courtyard of the house. So every single box is ticked. Talking about security, there are beams out on the veranda, as well as electric fencing all the way around the home. Although you are in one of the most beautiful areas of Bryanston, so I don't think security is gonna be an option at all. And now behind me is beckoning. Let's take a look at what the patio has to offer. Beautifully tiled, you've got space not only for a lounge suite, but also 
for a dining room table right over here, stretching almost the full length of the home. But in the corner is a South African staple, a favorite, and that is your built-in braai. We've got a fireplace. We've now got a braai prep counters on both sides, as well as storage counters below. And it leads right into where you're gonna be going after a braai. If you're not sitting inside, you're sitting right over here and this is your dining room area. Beautiful stainless steel chandelier cascading down above your dining room table right now. This is fitting a six-seater dining room table, but this could easily be expanded to an eight-seater or even a 10-seater if you're putting a round one in. Again, you've got all these plug points really facilitating a room that you can change into really whatever you'd like to see. We've got wall unit over there just showing you the space and the size and then take a look at this kitchen and take a look at how high these ceilings are beautifully lit massive caesar zone central counter with so much cupboard space and behind me more cupboard space more countertop for all your prepping needs we've got a four top gas burner underneath we've got your oven and then your extractor fan all of it being defi prep sink right over here in case you really are really into cooking your food more counter the top and then beautiful continuation of design with some frosted display cabinets all of these lift up and open on gas hinges so that's really really nice stainless steel fittings on all the cabinets space for a double door fridge over here just behind my cameraman is your pantry area so you can stock all your dry goods over there but if that isn't enough for you behind me we've got the scullery let's take a look your scullery leads off onto your double garage as well as having an escape hatch onto the back side of your garden. Then we've got space for not one but two fridges, one of them being a double door fridge, a double sink there for all your washing up needs, plenty of space for a storage and then we've got space under counter for three appliances, your dishwasher, your tumble dryer as well as your washing machine. Then some other cool features you'll find within the kitchen that aids your security is a central security system with a screen right there to monitor every single one of your video feeds. And then we come to the staircase that leads you to all of the sleeping areas. Again, behind me, stunning chandelier framed by that massive window that just lets in all this light, flooding your top pajama lounge. As you can see, these fiddle figs are living their best lives. As I mentioned, this could make a perfect pajama lounge, an upstairs TV room, even a space for you to do some work. However, we are gonna be covering, covering that in a moment. This specific pajama lounge does again have these beautiful aluminum framed doors that leads out onto your upstairs patio. We're gonna leave that for last because right now, it's time to explore a couple of the bedrooms. So turning left off of your stairs, you find yourself immediately into an area that not only might facilitate your popcorn, but also could double as a stunning place for you to sit down, do some work because there is a built-in desk as well as shelf. Then walking through a frosted glass door, you find yourself in the third bedroom on that household. This bedroom overlooks the front of the house as well as the stunning garden area, comes with your very own ensuite shower, plenty of cupboard space, and a double vanity with two mirrors. a private balcony with the stairs leading down onto the front of the house. Then if we wrap back around to where we started for, we come to the middle bedroom. This one again, lofty ceilings, plenty of cupboard space and almost a floor to ceiling window looking out onto your back garden. But then you come to a double vanity, double mirror, heated shower, uh, towel racks, massive walk-in frameless glass shower and then this corner jacuzzi bathtub. And here we are, the creme de la creme, the master suite. And as indicated, or should I say, as every master suite deserves, you need double doors opening up and outwards to lead you into the place where you're gonna be spending some of the most comfortable mornings and evenings of your life. Right here, massive king-size bed that is dwarfed by not only the size of the room, but the scale of the ceiling. We've got not only this massive window over here, but that sliding glass door leading out onto your outdoor balcony. Air conditioning in this room, which is most certainly needed on this sweltering South African summer day. 
And then just behind me, your ensuite bathroom includes a stunning bathtub located just below a frosted glass window. Frameless glass shower right over there, letting you walk in and enjoy a stunning cool shower on a day like this. And then a double vanity with your two mirrors above it and some under counter storage space below. But before you use the bathroom to get ready, you've got to enjoy your walk-in closet area. All the way from this wall to your other, you find yourself in a place to store all of your most precious, perfect, and coolest fits. Guys, enjoy this. It really is fit for a home of this caliber. But that does wrap up the upstairs of the home. Let's go downstairs to the front and say goodbye. Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, another show wrapped up. From myself, Chad Riveros, and the team at Private Property, as well as the team that helped make this show come alive. Thank you so much. We're going to be seeing you again at 8 p.m. every Monday and Friday while we showcase some of the most beautiful homes that South Africa has to offer. I'd like you to tell us if you've ever seen a home, if you've driven past a home, if a home has taken your breath away, tell us in the comments who, when, and where you'd like us to film next. If there's a celebrity home you'd like us to check out, we're here for you. We love you. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.